Okay guys, before we get started on lesson 4.7, let's take a review of what we learned in lesson 4.6. In lesson 4.6, we learned how to multiply two decimals together. So let's take a look at our problem and it says 3 tenths times 2 tenths. Well, we have our decimal model in front of us, so we are going to count over 3 tenths. And that would be 1, 2, 3 tenths. So we will go ahead and shade those tenths blue. Okay, now that we have our three tenths shaded blue, we are now going to shade our two tenths. This time we will count down two rows, one, two, and we will shade those two rows of tenths red. Okay, we have used our decimal model to shade our three tenths blue and our two tenths red. So now, like we learned in our previous lesson, we count up where they overlap. And we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six that are shaded both blue and red. So three tenths times two tenths equals six tenths. All right, well, let's get started in today's lesson. Today we are working on lesson 4.7. Lesson 4.7 is multiplying decimals. So let's take a look at our essential question. What strategies can you use to place a decimal point in a product? So you can use what you have learned about patterns and place value to place the decimal point in the product when you multiply two decimals. For example, we learned that one times one tenth equals one tenth because the identity property of multiplication says that anything multiplied by one is that number. We also learned that one tenth times one tenth moved the decimal place to the left. So we ended up with one hundredths. We also learned that one hundredths times one tenth moved the decimal point to the left two places and that equaled one thousandth. So when a number is multiplied by a decimal, the decimal point moves one place to the left in the product for each decreasing place value being multiplied. All right, so let's take a look at our word problem of the day. A male leopard seal is measured and has a length of 2.8 meters. A male elephant seal is about one and a half times as long. What length is the male elephant seal? Okay, so let's highlight what is important within that. It says that a male leopard seal is measured and has a length of two and eight tenths meters. It also says a male elephant seal is about one and a half times as long. Lastly, we're going to underline the question we need to answer. It asks, what length is the male elephant seal? So we know that in order to solve it, we have to multiply one and five tenths times two and eight tenths. So let's take a look at the first strategy that we can use to place a decimal point in a product. The first way is to use place value. So step one is to multiply as with whole numbers. So we will take our two and eight tenths and make it a whole number of 28. We will take our one and five tenths and make it a whole number of 15. Now we will simply multiply the two factors as we have learned in previous chapters. So we know that eight times five equals 40, so we would carry our four, and two times five is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 28 times five is 140. Now we multiply our tens. So eight times one is eight, and two times one is two. And then we add those two together, and zero plus zero is zero, four plus eight is 12, carry our one, two plus one is three, plus one is four, so we realize that our answer is 420. So the next step is to place the decimal point. Well, we're going to kind of think to ourselves. We know that tenths are being multiplied by tenths. So we're going to use the pattern like we looked at above, one tenth times one tenth. And we know when we multiply one tenth times one tenth, 
we have one place value to the right of the decimal. So we need to move our decimal point one place to the left. And that would give us one hundredth. So one tenth times one tenth equals one hundredth. So when we look at our answer over here, we know that we're going to have to take our 420 and multiply it by 100. So when we place the decimal point, so the value of the decimal is hundredths. So then when we multiply 420 by 100, our answer is going to be 4 and 20 hundredths or 4 and 2 tenths. So the length of a male elephant seal is about 4 and 2 tenths meters. So what if you multiplied 2 and 8 tenths by 1 and 74 hundredths? What would be the place value of the product? and it's asking us to explain our answer. Well, I know that the product would be in the thousandths place. Therefore, I can use the pattern one hundredth times one tenth equals one thousandth to remember. Okay, let's take a look at another strategy we can use to place a decimal point in a product. This way is going to use estimation. So you can use an estimate to place the decimal point in a product. So we're multiplying 7 and 8 tenths times 3 and 12 hundredths. So the first step is to estimate by rounding each factor to the nearest whole number. So we have the factor of 7.8. Well, when we are rounding to the whole number, we have to look in the ones position. And we realize we have the seven in the ones position. Well, in order to round, we have to look to the right. And we have an eight. And we have learned five or more raise the score. So we will be rounding our seven to the next value. And that would be to eight. So 7 and 8 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number would be 8. Now let's take a look at 3 and 12 hundredths. Well, we're rounding to the nearest whole number, so once again we're going to look in the ones place. So in order to know whether we round up or stay the same, we look to our right. And we see that we have a 1 to the right. Well, the saying is five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. We know that one is less than five, so we're going to let the three rest. So three and twelve hundredths rounded to the nearest whole number is going to be three. And we know that eight times three equals twenty-four. Now let's take a look at our next step. Our next step is to multiply as with whole numbers. So let's go over and multiply 312 times 78. 2 times 8 is 16, carry our 1. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 3 times 8 is 24. Now we bring down our magic 0. And 2 times 7 is 14, carry the 1. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 1 is 8 and 3 times 7 is 21. Now we will add these two together. 6 plus 0 is 6, 9 plus 4 is 13, carry our 1, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry our 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and bring down our 2. Let's count over three place values and place our comma. One, two, three, comma. So our answer is 24,336. Now our next step is to use the estimate to place the decimal point. So we're going to think to ourselves, 
the product should be close to our estimate. Well, keep in mind our estimate was 24. So far our answer is 24,336. So, since we know that our whole number is going to be close to the whole number of 24, we know that we're going to place our decimal point to the right of the whole number. So therefore, our decimal point is going to go to the right of the 4. So our answer would be 24 and 336 thousandths. Therefore, 7 and 8 tenths times 3 and 12 hundredths is going to equal 24 and 336 thousandths. So let's take a look at our password for today's lesson. Be sure that you record the password in your planner and bring with you to class tomorrow. So our password is going to pertain to a lesson we had in chapter two. A method of dividing in which multiples of the divisor are subtracted from the dividend and then the quotients are added together is called that's right, partial quotients. Be sure to record that in your planner and bring it with you to class tomorrow.